Cupertino's apples are some of the best in the business. And you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yes, we are talking about the iPhone 14 Pro series. The hugely anticipated, massively controversial, dynamically different iPhone 14 Pro series is finally here with us. And here's everything you need to know about Apple's new flagship smartphone. iPhones have built their legacy around premium design and materials. The stainless steel wrap around frame and glass combine the tradition of luxury and in-hand feel that cuts above everything else in the industry. This year, you will observe even larger camera cutout to accommodate the improved sensors. The already large module has been upsized further and sits distinctly proud of the frame. However, what you are here for lies at the front. Is the dynamic island, possibly the most radical change to the iPhone's display composition in years. The Pro series ditches the large notch that Apple pioneered with the iPhone X. Instead, this year's models use a confluence of software and hardware to create a notch that is unlike everything. To start off, yes, there are two cutouts here, one for the camera and the other for the Face ID system. But the dynamic island software system uses the magic of pure black OLED levels and intuitive software to create a pill-shaped touch surface around it. The island shrinks when there is no use for it and expands when you are using it for timers or music or transit directions. It will even playfully bounce around when you tap it. Long press the island and a widget lets you interact with interface elements. Tap it to get back into the app. It's beautifully simple, though a bit lacking in integrations at the moment. That said, we can't wait for more apps to support it soon. Also upgraded is the display itself. The iPhone 14 Pro Max here sports a 6.7-inch panel that goes all the way to 2000 nits, now for visibility even under extreme sunlight. Combined with the inky black levels of OLED screens, the screen makes for a formidable multimedia companion. This year, the iPhone 14 Pro Max also gets another popular feature from Android phones. However, Apple's implementation of an always-on display is dramatically different from what we have seen so far. Instead of lighting up just a few notifications or a clock, the always-on display keeps the entire screen switched on to display your wallpaper. Elsewhere, there's the usual high-quality dual speaker system as well as an IP68 rating for dust and water resistance. How's the performance, you ask? Unlike the iPhone 14, the iPhone 14 Pro series is getting a solid upgrade to the performance stack with the A16 Bionic that is enabling a range of new experiences. Of course, gaming and everyday performance are just as good as any other iPhone. The interface stays at a fluid 120Hz while games push maximum frame rates. Similarly, while Apple doesn't disclose battery sizes, the iPhone 14 Pro Max easily managed a full day of use even with the always-on display switched on. Unfortunately, fast charging still isn't anywhere as fast as the competition, and charging the phone takes well over an hour. Let's talk cameras. The Apple iPhone has stuck to its 12-megapixel resolution for several years now. However, taking one more note from the Android playbook, Apple is finally introducing a high-resolution 48-megapixel sensor on the main camera. Using the magic of pixel binning, Apple claims increased sensitivity, dynamic range and all-around improvements to picture quality. Does it live up to the promise? Boy, it does. The biggest camera update in years makes the already good iPhone camera even better. During our testing, we observed significantly better dynamic range and detail handling. The difference becomes even more obvious in low light. That said, Apple has opted for a slightly oversharpened look that might not appeal to everyone. The real differences become even more apparent when shooting in raw mode. For pro photographers, the exceptional amount of detail and limited noise make it the perfect option for on-the-go photography. Additionally, fans of shooting video will also benefit from the advancements here. For one, cinematic mode now supports 4K 30fps video. 
Moreover, Apple is debuting a new action mode that brings GoPro-like stabilization to your phone. While the resolution tops off at 2.8K, the camera can compensate for heavy movement while running or fast action. The ultra-wide camera and telephoto lens, too, have received an upgrade and now capture more detail and light. Interestingly, an added benefit of the 48 megapixel resolution is that Apple now offers a 2x zoom mode that crops into the high resolution to offer a middle ground between the 1x settings and 3x settings. Like every iPhone before it, the iPhone 14 Pro is an exercise in restraint and deliberation. With each passing year, it is still becoming harder to say it is the best phone in the market. But that's not bad. Competition is good. However, Apple's diametrically different approach of thoughtfulness and feature addition only when it's ready for prime time makes the phone stand out against cutting-edge Android devices. Priced at Rs. 1,29,900 and above, the iPhone 14 Pro phones are pricey, but you can't put a price on luxury and elegance, and that's exactly what you get here.